every day across that border, people are killed with his blessing. To find them would be like discovering a vaccine. Benicio, it's so interesting to see you in this role, which is you've done different movies like this in some ways, characters, but nothing quite like him, like Alejandro. I mean, he's, he's in that shade of gray. We're not really quite sure about him. I love the mystery about it. What was it that attracted you to playing him? The, the character was compelling because uh, it attracted you as I was reading it, and, uh, but and then it repulsed you. So I've, I think characters that contradict themselves like, like Alejandro, they're fun to play. I would also say there's something very human about it. Like I think uh, we're, we're a lot of contradictions. That's one of the things that attracted me about the character was that contradiction, that, that, that compelling aspect of uh, loving him and hating him. Yeah. Don't move! Come on, no, 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 no! Compas, compas. Suelta la pistola. Tírela! Pregunta, paisanos. Quiere morir? Molly, this is a hot button topic too. We hear a lot about uh, a lot of things going on here and drugs and Mexico and everything else that's going on. What was it about? Was it difficult to get Sicario made? Or we we felt very lucky. Um, my company, Black Label, uh, Basil Wanick developed the project with uh, Taylor Sheridan and and brought it to uh, to us at Black Label. And I mean, we first read we're just blown blown away. Um, first of all, Taylor wrote a really you know, compelling script and absolutely about something, you know, as topical as ever. I remember someone asking Benicio when we were in Cannes, why is, you know, uh, still tackling this, you know, subject matter on film? And he and Denis answered, because it's still a current topic. We're still dealing with it. There's no, there's no solution yet. There's no answer to the real war on drugs. And um, I, I love, and I think Denis did a very poetic job of leaving, leaving you, you know, with a question of um, what is right or wrong, and um, you know, and it's a great portrait. So we we were taken with the topicality of it, and we also loved that it was just an incredible, complex um, character drama. You know, it almost felt like something from the '70s. You know, just a great dark character piece, and, and we loved it. Joe, from your uh, standpoint as the film editor here, you've, you, you, you're known for kind of holding shots and doing things. How did that fit in something that has a lot of action in it as well here? Yes, I mean, I've worked with Steve McQueen, and we've sort of developed a style, I suppose, of kind of investigating um, a performance uh, at length. And But it's, you know, not really about being slow. It's more about landscaping, you know, and, and compressing time and expanding time at certain points and, and sitting back. And, you know, when you've got such great material, you know, that it's sometimes really nice to hold back and look at a person and investigate what's going on in their eyes. And, you know, I think it helps the audience to become passionate about what they're seeing. And in this case, you know, this is a meticulously planned film. Um, Denny and Roger Deakins, the amazing photographer, spent a long time developing it. So, for, you know, for me, it was trying to subvert that sometimes, actually, and sort of saying, There's, is there another way of doing it? Because it's, you know, they've got such a good plan, it's, uh, and I'm insanely competitive. Rick, what was it like having Roger Deakins, working with Roger Deakins on this? I think everyone from every department, from the hair, makeup, to everybody was aware that Roger Deakins was shooting this film. So everyone worked a little bit harder. Everybody <laughs> wanted to impress him, including myself. And uh, all, all the actors we were very aware that we were being shot by a master. And, and it was great because he disappears. He just, he's just not there. And, and uh, you know, one of the first things you learn when you're making movies as an actor is like, don't look at the camera. He did a terrific job. I've gotten to know him a little better traveling with the film and promoting the film, but uh, it was great. 